Hi, I'm Dempsey Pula, and this week I'm reviewing... Now before we start real quick, I just want to remind you guys to make sure to hit that like button if you liked today's video. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I post new movie related content weekly. Uh, I do more movie reviews than anything, but I also do the occasional trailer reaction. I also am working harder on incorporating more lists on this channel this new year. Uh, pretty much, if you like anything and everything movies, this channel is your one-stop shop. Uh, but without wasting any more of your time, let's jump into today's film, which is, of course, Birds of Prey. Or the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, or Harley Quinn colon Birds of Prey. This film seems to have a lot of titles as of late. Birds of Prey was directed by Kathy Ann and stars Margot Robbie, once again reprising a role as the iconic Harley Quinn, and follows her in the aftermath of her breakup with the Joker, as she attempts to lay low from all the people that want her dead, and as she becomes entangled with this group of women who all have, one way or another, crossed this villain by the name of Black Mask. The film also features Journey Smollett-Bell, Rosie Perez, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Ewan McGregor, and Ella J. Bosco. And I really like this film. In fact, some of the film's pros include its direction. There are some really cool shots and sequences throughout the entire movie, including one very trippy club scene early on, as well as an unforgettable ride through a twisted tunnel slide. You try saying that five times fast. The acting is also incredible. All of the girls kick ass, and everyone, with the exception of Margot Robbie, because she was absolutely born to play this role, um, everyone is just really good. No one really outshines any of the others. And I'm really glad, most of all, that Journey Smollett-Bell, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Rosie Perez are like leads in a superhero franchise film at that. They don't get lead roles anymore. I mean, I don't know if you're paying attention, but a, a, a lot of the newer, younger talent seems to be the trend now. Um, and it was just really refreshing to see them at the forefront again. And I hope that this film opens doors for them in the future. I, I mean, it has to, right? I also really like the fact that this feels like a standalone film, even though it absolutely isn't. I mean, from the very opening, it starts off with an animated prologue, which we have yet to see in the DCEU. So it goes to show right there that from the very start, it's actively trying to be different from everything that we've seen before. And I love the fact that the Joker is nowhere to be found in this movie, that the way that the, the movie really opens after the prologue is the doors being shut on Harley Quinn's face. And I, I mean, obviously, it as the title implies, it emancipates her, not only from him, but it also metaphorically emancipates her from everything that kind of comes before her or everything that has come before her all those terrible films now despite the things that i liked about this film there were also a few things that i didn't like about it first and foremost the film's format there's a lot of flashback in this movie and also a lot of backtracking to show you how characters got to a certain place in time and not to say that it doesn't make sense it definitely does they definitely tie up all the loose ends and they do it quite nicely but still it can be a little bit repetitive at times, and it does take away from the film's overall momentum. Now, I also really wish that we got to see all of the main characters together on the big screen more often. Pretty much the only time we finally do get to see them is at the very end of the film, and most of the footage that we're shown also happens to be most of the footage that is in the trailers. And, and it makes sense because this film is pretty much just a setup movie, you can tell, especially with some of the things that are hinted at at the very end of the film, that if there is a sequel, we'll get to see way more of that. But until then, you know, it's really more of an origin story. Um, but honestly, I felt like that dynamic or seeing more of that dynamic between the characters could have honestly only helped the film. Ewan McGregor is also really good in this, but with the exception of all the character development that he's given, it kind of feels like he just gets the Marvel villain treatment here, where we're only really shown him whenever he's doing something that moves the plot forward. Um, even the way that he's kind of taken care of at the end of the film feels way too rushed, and I just wanted a lot more of him. I mean, who wouldn't want more of Ewan McGregor in anything anyways? I'm probably going to hate myself for continuing to use this pun, but Birds of Prey literally emancipates itself from the rest of the DCU, while at the same time still respecting the continuity of events and characters that happened before it. Especially everything in Suicide Squad, like there are quite a few graceful nods to that film in this one. But at the same time, I feel like this film is everything Suicide Squad wanted to be and more. Even though I'm also sure that James Gunn's The Suicide Squad is going to be everything Suicide Squad wanted to be and more. But coming down from that, I also felt like this film was the introduction to the big screen that Harley Quinn deserved. It's also a fantastic introduction to all these new characters who have never had the big screen treatment before. 
Despite my issues with it, I can still confidently say that this is easily one of the DCEU's best films to date. All around, it soars. And for that, I'm gonna give this film four stars. You are so cool. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to view this video. It really does mean the world to me. And once again, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more movie-related content weekly. Now, if you happen to see this movie, if you loved it, if you hated it, if you think that it could have had a better title, even though we don't know what it's called anymore, or what it's going to be released on home video as, right? Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. I love reading your comments. I try my hardest to respond to all of your comments. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of having a channel. I love the interaction. Action. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you thought about it down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the time that I have for you guys today. I do have a lot more stuff planned for the coming weeks. So do look forward to it. But in the meantime, I should probably get back to work. So until next time, I'm Dempsey Pallad. Take care.